not sure about what you guys can hear but for me it doesn't sound healthy and uh, this problem have been bothering me uh, for some weeks now really since I got the car but really enough uh, didn't think that there was a major problem with the car just that uh, there was some small problems that I just had to live with so it started with uh, that uh, I feel that the clutch pedal is like if I give it some uh, uh, give it some force or just uh, put my foot on the uh, clutch pedal I can feel it shaking and that's the first thing and also when I'm clutching it makes this weird sound And you can also hear it slightly while the car is idling and it goes away if I throttle up a little bit and you can also maybe hear it if we rev up and yeah you heard a little bit when I idle back so it's basically a thing called a dual mass uh, flywheel which is probably going bad now and uh, the flywheel, the dual mass flywheel is like a shock absorber which takes some of the force and uh, uneven running of the engine but I have driven with uh, this uh, minor not, uh, I don't think it's a really big problem now but it's probably gonna get worse and worse but I have driven now for 9500 kilometers with this problem I think so when I bought this car it was one of the cheapest 9.3s on the market uh, in this uh, condition and like overall uh, driving distance and the condition of the car uh, was really good but of course uh, these newer subs are prone to having a lot of faults and since it's really just a GM or a Opel or something like that so already I have owned the car for maybe two or three months now and I have uh, replaced a lot of parts maybe we'll go into more detail about that later but just a small thing like taking a look at the radio here uh, you can actually see that the previous owner cared about the car the only way that you have some some minor chipage uh, on the buttons you see is this one here and to replace the dual mass uh, flywheel you have to uh, drop the, the undercarriage or not the undercarriage but they're like the front uh, end of the car to like get access to the gearbox so when you are down there you will also just probably change the clutch and everything uh, connected to that so it's gonna be a pretty expensive bill I think so this is not by any means a new car as you can see 185,000 kil kilometers but I don't feel it's really that long either and the car is from 2006 so the first problem is that my steering wheel uh, is maybe not the sub's fault maybe another one that made a bad uh, correction on the steering so the steering is a little bit off so when I'm driving the steering wheel is like this so that needs to be corrected it's not a big problem though so I don't really want to waste money so this windshield common problem also nothing is specified to sobs but as you can see I have this crack because I got a, a stone flying and hit the windshield here and then it's slowly cracking all the way down I think I'm gonna get that on the insurance but it's just a pain to get it fixed and using time on that and this is also a replacement windshield I believe um, yeah, I think it's been replaced before and the radio if you can hear yeah, I'm in a very good reception now but otherwise it's always like cracking up there's something wrong with uh, like this 
there's something wrong with the antenna so I really never use the FM radio change the gear knob just usual wear but of course my other sub maybe had some better quality parts so it wasn't as weird out uh, even if it's older so this was like falling apart this one was also starting to get ugly nothing serious just uh, cosmetics and otherwise in the interior of the car I think everything is fine and um, I just hate these buttons and uh, those door handles and everything like the buttons on here they use some uh, some uh, really bad rubber coating I don't really know why you would do that but it like falls off if you scratch your nail on it so so since I got the car also I had to change this uh, thermostat the thermostat from eBay was pretty cheap, but it was still. Uh, I had to pay some money to get it fixed because I couldn't do this myself. Because you have the ABR uh, valve, uh, like that G renew. Yeah, it takes some of the exhaust gases and puts it into the turbo again. Was like bolted on top of this, and rusty exhaust bolts are really hard to get off and I'm not a mechanic by any means and I had school so I didn't really have time for it uh, the battery I also think is not the best and you can also see I have to get maybe some Vaseline or something because this is really corroding away maybe I have to get that later today now that I have been reminded of it So the engine still runs very nicely, but it doesn't help for the dual mass flywheel that the car now also have a slight tune. So just taking a look at the last things that bothers me about this car. Driver seat, the vinyl on the seats are not probably of the best quality and since the driver always gets in and out. This wears out pretty fast and that's a common issue with these cars. Unusual for subs, this sub here actually got some nice emblems. They are probably being replaced a lot of times and I'm not sure if these are like the fixed ones or if this is also gonna go bad soon. But I have a lot of them so that's no problem No, Just uh, I know that uh, a lot of you guys probably have the same problem. Taking a look at the uh, rear light here, of course it's leaking, cracked, because probably got either it got struck by something or it's just a bad ABS plastic or a plastic ME that the UV light damages it over time and you can also see a bug in there. And this one is also cracking and starting to leak. And the plastic on these covers are leaking also. Perfect.